everyone, this is Josh, um, high carb athlete. Uh, this video is about why I went vegan and how it changed my life. Um, a little bit of background on me, um, 34 years old, uh, father of four, married, and um, I've always been athletic my entire life. And never really knew what nutrition would have done if I had a cleaner diet when I was younger, when I uh, played other sports. Um, I played uh, basketball growing up. That was my sport. And um, then I grew up a little bit after high school. Um, I decided that I wanted to lift weights and try a little bit um, at bodybuilding. Body responded very well, but um, I was eating the typical Western diet, you know, meat, high protein, um, still had carbs. I never did the low carb thing. I never ever agreed about the low carb um, trends, but the protein, um, eating a lot of meat and, and uh, doing the the protein powders and all that stuff was probably not the best, um, but young, I was 20, 19, 20, 21, 22, right around that area, and um, had a lot of health issues, you know, the, the constipation, the, uh, didn't sleep that great all the time, um, tired at midday, especially after workouts, and I understand, you know, you get tired after workouts, but now being vegan, I understand why I was tired because I don't get tired after um, any workouts I have so um, looking back on that um, after I was bodybuilding it was tough for me to understand that I was slightly poisoning my body with all the protein I was I mean I was consuming at least a gram to two grams per pound of body weight and at that point in time I mean I'm six five and at that point in time, I was 243 pounds. So, I mean, that's massive amounts of animal protein, you know, clogging up my arteries, clogging up my heart, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, and uh, who knows what the other changes that was happening in my body. Um, so, who made me go vegan and what made me go vegan? Um, after I got married and had my first two daughters, um, it was around 2008. Um, my wife always pestered me about slightly changing my diet. Um, always, I always had like really, really bad acid reflux, like bad, to the point where um, it was crippling. Like I couldn't, I couldn't um, function. I actually had to like sit down. I'd, I'd double over in pain, um, and to the point where my wife said, you know, maybe we should get you into um, have an upper endoscopy. And <clears throat> she's an endoscopy nurse, so she was kind of looking at it as, you know, maybe we should get you in. And so I decided maybe that might be a good idea, but, you know, what's causing this, you know? So I put it off a little bit longer, you know, taking Prilosec every once in a while, you know, just to put a band-aid on the problem um, and you know that my bathroom trips were just excruciatingly painful it's, it was just awful um, and I could never really get super super lean I mean I was lean but I put a lot of work in two three hours at the gym um, supplements the whole nine yards you know and it wasn't good for me um, so one day I really really had bad 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 like heart it felt like heart um, issues but I think it was just really, really bad acid reflux and then my wife said maybe you should go see the doctor so I decided you know to go see my doctor and they did a EKG on me which came out normal but it was sort of so bad that I thought I was having a heart attack at the age of 20 let's see 25 ish 26 pretty sad um, so sitting on the couch one day after that and my wife came in and said just hear me out um, I think it's your food the food you're eating I really think it's the diet what we need to do is 
maybe change that. So what would you say if you tried a vegan diet? And I was against it, you know, growing up raising animals and which I never was partial to the animals going to slaughter. As a kid, I, that was the toughest part. I had a huge issue with animals going to get slaughtered. I mean, I loved when they were in our yard, cows, pigs, chickens. I, you know, I was the only one that fed them. I was all over it, um, but always had a tough time with the slaughter part. So I said, you know, if it's going to help, I'll give it a shot, you know, so it came down to pulling all the stuff out of our fridge and um, even my wife showing me a couple slaughterhouse videos which were gut-wrenching because I'm an animal lover and they were the toughest things I could ever watch you know that was a big deciding factor too I mean obviously being around for my family but also the animals that was huge for me seeing those videos uh, to the point of tears it was just bad um, and so after I did that, the first changes I noticed were I lost like 20 something pounds of, and it was fat too. I mean, I, whatever I had built up on me um, just fell off of me. I mean, I think in the first month it was 23 pounds, I think um, it was the first month. And it was a clean vegan diet, you know, I didn't do a lot of processed stuff. It, we, we went like all out, you know. Um, and tons of energy, I slept better, um, all the acid reflux the, in the bathroom, all that just was m like awesome, mint, you know, um, unbelievable change, like night and day compared uh, as far as how I felt, night and day. Skin cleared up, um, it's just unbelievable the, the, the changes I noticed. Um, and then what are the impacts, you know, of being vegan? A lot of people wonder as far as um, health-wise, um, you're at risk for heart disease, type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, uh, cancers, um, autoimmune diseases, especially with dairy, um, skin issues. Um, the health problems are, are insane on a Western diet with meat and dairy. Um, so on a vegan diet, you're getting all your macronutrients and your micronutrients, which on a Western diet, most people are deficient in <clears throat> micronutrients. We're not talking pro protein, carbs, and fats. We're talking vitamin A, C, uh, iron, all that. And you might think, oh, I get my iron from my meat. Um, studies have shown a lot of people are deficient in a lot of those um, when they go get their blood work done. So I get my blood work done every year, and everything is through the roof spot on and I eat a really high carb, low fat, low protein diet, um, vegan diet. To, to, so um, animal impacts are insane. Um, no animal needs to die for our nutritional benefits. There's nothing we can't get from plants that we get from animals. Animals don't need to die. No animal needs to suffer. It's horrific what animals go through. I mean, uh, 70 billion animals are killed every year for our consumption. Um, and they're horrifically killed. Um, just go and watch some of the videos online. It's, if you're an animal lover in any means, that should be the deciding factor right then and there to go vegan. Never mind all the health benefits and the environmental benefits. Environmental benefits um, is most of our greenhouse gases are coming from the agricultural business. So I think it's 17% come, or 18% is from our all of our uh, transportation, planes, cars, trains, the whole nine yards. And animal agriculture, I think, is like 49 or 30. It's between the 30 and the 40% range. It's insane. So just that then alone, never mind the rainforest being cleared just for us to put crops to feed cows, never mind crops to feed other human beings that are starving around the world. It's just insane, the logic behind, and it's not logic, it's, it's all about money. People are just money-hungry people, and all they want to do is, regardless of the consequences, is to make money. You know, who cares about the animals? Who cares about humans' health? 
and who cares about the environment? You know, their pockets are fat, they're sitting in their big mansion, and it doesn't matter to them, which is sad because one day we're going to be the cause of this earth going down the tubes. And it's going down the tubes, you know, so the first step we need to do to make a change is not, and I mean, it helps the whole car thing and, you know, ride your bike more, which the benefits, not only environmental, but your health benefits, plus it's fun. Um, you can do it with groups of people, all that stuff, running, same thing, running clubs, or run, ride your bike with your kids, run with your kids, you know, all that type of stuff instead. Um, so what I encourage people to do is to make the change, you know, you can start at a very easy pace or you can go cold turkey like I did. I mean, we just wiped the fridge out, you know, and thank God I had my wife to support me. And that's huge to have your spouse on board too. Um, sometimes it's hard for people to make changes alone. Scary enough though, people, people make huge changes with diet that don't work long term. You know, the Atkins diet, not a long term diet or lifestyle. You can't sustain a, a low carb diet for long. You lose weight. You'll feel good in your mind because you're losing weight, but your body is going down the tubes. You go into ketosis and your body is just eating itself. Eating itself, wicked acidic, high cancer rate. You're eating all this meat and cheese, and then before you know it, heart disease and high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all that just falls right into place, you know? And before you know it, I can't sustain this anymore. You start eating carbohydrates, and before you know it, you, you blow up like that. So which is bad. So make the change, you know, start small if you want, you know, cut out dairy is what I recommend first. Um, it'll make the biggest change and then health wise and uh, start being conscious, educate yourself, go online and type in recipes, type in videos, type in all that good stuff. Oops, a little blurry. Let me fix it here. There we go. Oh, no, it's still blurry. That's better. Um, and start making a change, you know, and get rid of your dairy and start using almond milk and soy milk and all that good stuff. And then um, don't worry about the cheese. Cheese, people say they're addicted to, is probably one of the most poisonous substances on the planet. And same with obviously dairy, but um, just get rid of it. Don't even do substitutes. Just get rid of it, and you'll see huge changes uh, weight and how you feel. Um, so that's just a, my little intro video. Uh, follow me on my journey. Um, I've been vegan for eight years and I'm only improving. I'm getting faster running. I'm getting faster on my bike. Um, and all four of my kids are vegan. My wife's vegan and it's amazing to see them excel in their sports and in school. Um, they're just great kids and my wife's same thing. It's just unbelievable with the diet. Um, not only health-wise, but the compassion and the, and the awareness that it brings to the world um, just makes for a good, rounded person. So um, just follow me on this journey, you know, and um, I'll keep posting videos. And if you like this video and this intro and um, want to see more, click subscribe, please. And um, hit the like button if you like the video and any more information I can give. Post your com uh, comments down below, um, any questions and comments, and um, I'll definitely, definitely get back to you. Any questions you have, I will be more than happy to help. Um, I'll put my email, um, follow me on Strava, see what I do on a, on a vegan diet, and um, we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.